Hello and welcome back. We're pretty close to wrapping up this project. Um, in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna create like an end game condition where the player can die and possibly save their high score. Um, that might have to wait until next video. But we have we already have a health script where they can start taking damage. Uh, let's create a method where they can die. Public void die if health is less than zero die and they, they might be getting hit twice in the same frame so this might get called twice so let's go ahead and make sure that we can only call this die method one time so public bool dead equals false uh, when health drops below zero dead equals true and Uh, let's do that after. Dead equals true if dead equals false die. All right, so now now we can only die if we were alive before, and even if we get to this point like five times within the same frame, we're, like we'll we'll see that we weren't dead. We'll die, and then dead gets set to true, so we can never hit the same thing twice. And now um, we're going to want to save the score. Uh, we haven't given the player any kind of score, but I think we should just we should give them points for for damaging the monsters, um, and then like bonus points for killing the monsters. And since I'm lazy, I'm just going to put the score within this script. Um, actually, no, we better not do that. Um, but when they die, um, I'm I'm trying to decide if I want to load a different level. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, so more to come. I'll talk about that soon. Uh, right now, let's focus on creating a score. We're going to create a C sharp script called Score Keeper. We have a public um, int score. Now let's just put this on a game object. Actually, uh, yeah, let's put it on a game object. Create empty score keeper. And now that we have um, two different sort of like administrative objects, let's put them both within a folder. And I'll just call this management. So scorekeeper and music both go into the management folder. Scorekeeper gets the scorekeeper script. And then we'll just create a method for adding and resetting the score. Void add score, and we can put in uh, just a, an int value uh, boost. So score plus equals boost. Pretty straightforward. And void reset score score equals zero. Okay, so that's not going to change anything because we're not actually adding to the score yet. Um, so let's go ahead and go to Axon Health. Um, enemy Health. And when they take damage, um, we're just going to add to the player score right here. And we're only ever going to have one scorekeeper class. 
So an easy way to reference this is to give it a public static variable that points back to itself. Public static scorekeeper. So it's, it's a public variable, it's static, it's of type scorekeeper. And we're just going to name it instance. And then as soon as the game starts, instance equals this. So that's just a variable that points back to the... Like, it, it's a variable within this class that points back to itself. And since it's static, we can access it without a reference to that class. So back within enemy health, we can say scorekeeper.instance. So now we have a reference to whatever game object it's on. And this only works because there's one. There's only ever going to be one scorekeeper. Um, Scorekeeper.instance.add. Oh, we need to make that public. Dot add score. And we can just give it whatever we want. Let's say ten. So now, when we shoot the enemy, we should we should see the new score popping up down below. Looks good. So you can see the, the player's score is just climbing. Um, th this random 272 is health because the enemy took damage. But but these, these higher numbers are the score rising up. So now we have we have a class that's keeping track of the score. And l let's also add to the score when a monster gets killed. And that's going to be right here. Scorekeeper instance add score. Let's add a thousand. It's quite a feat to kill one of these monsters. Yeah, it takes a while. Okay, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, what's next? So do I want to focus on saving the score, or displaying the score, or letting the player die? I think within this um, scorekeeper script, I'm going to use player prefs to um, save the player score. So let's do public int high score. That'll start off at zero. And when we add score, if the new score is higher than high score, high score equals new score. And now we just want to make sure we save the high score when the player dies. And we can also load it at the start of the game. So high score equals player prefs. Um, player prefs is a, is a really nice, convenient class that Unity built for us. It stores and accesses player preferences between game sessions. So it really, it's it's designed for storing preferences like like joystick sensitivities or something like that. Um, but you can use it for anything. So we're going to use it for saving the high scores. So playerprefs.set int and then you have to give it a key and we're just going to say high score. And then you have to give it a value, which is um, high score. And I actually put that in the wrong spot. So, so you use set int to save the score. So, like right here, uh, we 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 gained a new high score, so we can do it there. Player press set int, set the high score to whatever the high score is. And now, when we want to retrieve that, we can use player prefs dot get int high score and the default value will be zero. So so when the game starts it's gonna try to find a high score. If it can't find anything it'll just default to zero. Um, so that high score is zero. As soon as we score some points, that's a new high score, because score is higher than high score. High score gets score, and then we save that into the player preferences. And then when we load the next game, high score is going to be loaded from player prefs. 
Uh, and then let's print game started. We loaded a high score of plus high score. So the first time through it loads a high score of zero. We can do some damage. Now the high score should be something like 400 and then we can hit play again. And we loaded a high score okay, of, of 290. Now if we pass that, we're up to 600. Try again. And it saved our high score of 650. So the high score system is built. All we have to do is save it to player prefs and load it and we're good to go. Uh, I'll cut this video off here. In the next video, um, I'll talk about killing the player and then starting a new game.